Hey folks, so I'm going to do a video on uh, 2D regression and polynomial regression. Um, I had already filmed this video actually uh, on the whiteboard and uh, when I looked at the footage it was all blurry. So I'm just going to go through my notes that I just created and basically go through them a little bit quicker um, since the notes are here and you can kind of pause the video. Um, so this is my board notes from my last video on linear regression and so you have the measure and through the sensor, filter, analogical converter, and then to a voltage. And so the idea is that you have some data value and some voltage that you want to get. And the whole point of this video or this board was essentially saying that if you had two data points, you can just fit a line to it using the point slope formula and everything's all well and good. The problem is, is when you have six data points like this, like how do you fit a line to it? And so enter um, a more complex way to get it. Um, I have a Python video, which just shows that you can use the polyfit function, which basically does this, but um, this is sort of how you do it by hand. And so the idea is, is that you put all of your y coordinates in one vector, and then you put all of your um, unknowns over here in this vector, so you have a slope and y intercept. And then what you do is you write like all these equations. You have basically six equations and two unknowns. So you have more equations than you have unknowns. So here you have the length is equal to slope times voltage plus b, but then you also have another length measurement that's equal to slope times measurement plus b. And so you put those all into matrix form. And if you look at this, you have here, you have length equals v1 um, times m, right, plus 1 times b. And so basically you have this h matrix where you have a column of ones and then a column of all your data points v. If you put this in matrix form, you have l equals h times theta, where theta is your sort of your vector of unknowns. And if you use uh, Gauss's um, linear regression equation and you do H transpose H inverse H transpose L, that will give you your vector of unknowns here, okay? And I showed a Python video on how to do this for um, using polyfit. Um, now what I wanna do is basically show you how to expand this to polynomials and 2D regression. And that is uh, this board here, okay? And then I'm gonna have a video follow on after this that shows you how to do this in, in Python. Okay, so um, this was, I think, a, just a review saying, like, if you have just a generic X and Y data set, you put all the Ys into a Y coordinate and all the Xs into an X coordinate. Here are your N equations, right? If you have N data points, you have N equations. Your unknowns, I generalized it to A0 and A1, and so you have a vector A instead of theta from the other video, or from the other board notes. And so in this case, you have Y equals HA, Y equals HA, right? And H in this case, if you look at the equation, you have uh, Y equals um, A naught plus A one X one. And so you have a vector of ones, right? One is multiplied by A naught, and then you have all the X's multiplied by A one. And so your H is a column of ones and then a column of X's. And then all you do is you just do H transpose H N versus H transpose Y. Now, if you want to expand this to a polynomial, say you want to do Y N is A naught plus A one X plus A two X N squared, well, your H matrix, all you have to do is just add a column and so you get one X and X one squared. And then A now, instead of being a two by one, A naught, A one, you have A naught, A one, A two. And you just use the exact same equation in Python to solve for it, okay? Um, over here, if you expand to 2D regression, uh, looks like it's cut off there a little bit. Let me back, well, here, let me do this. Can I, let me move my, yeah. Whoop, I just moved the bottom. Okay, so if you look here, um, now imagine you have um, a bunch of X coordinates, a bunch of Y coordinates, and a bunch of Z coordinates at each one of those coordinates. And so say you have like 10 coordinates along X, 10 coordinates along Y, and you basically have this sort of surface that you're trying to fit. Well, if you make a big vector of all the X's, a big vector of all the Y's, and a big vector of all the Z's, and you have your equation, your regression equation that you're trying to fit. In this case, I have AX plus BX squared plus CY plus DY squared plus EXY. All I need to do is just make this H matrix where I have my vector of unknowns, A, B, C, D, E, and then X is multiplied by A, B is multiplied by X1, C is multiplied by Y1, or y, not just Y1, but all the Y's, and then D is multiplied by all the Y's squared, and then E is multiplied by all the X's times Y's. And so if you put this in matrix form like this, it's basically the, the big X from up here, all of your data, the big X squared, the big Y, the big Y squared, and the big X times the big Y. And then you just use the same formula to get a hat and you're done. Um, this video is actually kind of short. It's only four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring up Python now. Um, I think I already have it pulled up um, and, I, and, I, and I do. And it looks like 
it looks like I already did this. Um, do I want to code it? It's late. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk walk through this walk through this code here real quick. So let's just let's just comment everything out. That way you can kind of see my thought process and I don't go too fast. Uh, I definitely want that. Okay, so this is good. So basically I have an array, a 2D array here of fictitious data. So here, are all my, here the first column is all of my X's, the second column is all of my Y's, and then the third column is all the Z coordinates at those corresponding X and Y coordinates. I generated this data just with some fictitious data. If you look here, X goes from zero to 10, but if you notice that X repeats five times, and that's because Y, you basically need a Y coordinate at each X coordinate. So this is actually um, five X coordinates and five Y coordinates, which means it's actually 25 data points. Um, I'm using NumPy, matplotlib, and I'm using um, MP Toolkit's Axis 3D to make the 3D plots. And I'm, I actually don't need this random here, so don't worry about that. All right, so if I load the data array, my X coordinates are in the first column, my Y coordinates are in the second column, and my Z coordinates are in the third column, right? That's pretty self-explanatory. First, second, third, X, Y, Z, okay? If I skip all of this and I just go down here, I make a new figure, I make it a 3D projection, and then I do a scatter plot, label my axes, and show it. And so if I bring that up, um, here is my, my data. And so it looks curved, but there's a little bit of noise in it. And again, I, I sort of made up this data and the data that I made up was basically, you know, like this, this kind of weird polynomial with some, some variation in it, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I want to fit, I wanna fit something that looks like this. A coefficient times x, a coefficient times x squared, a coefficient times y, and a coefficient times y squared, and a coefficient times x times y. Um, so what I need to do is if you go back to the derivation, right, I need z equals h. I just, all, and then if you look at the solution, I already have my z coordinates. These are my z coordinates, it's already there. If I type in z, there are all of my z coordinates. It's a 25 by one array. h is the matrix that I need to make. So I need to make the first column x's, x1 squared, y, y1 squared, and x, y. And I think that's the same x, x squared, x, x squared, y, y squared, and then x, y, exactly. So my H matrix just needs to be those five columns. And so if you look here, that's exactly what I do here. I take the big X, X squared, Y, Y squared, and X, Y, and then I have to transpose the matrix because all of those X's are row vectors. So if I type in X, you'll see it's a row vector. And so I need to concatenate them all together and then transpose the matrix. And so if I um, hit F5 here, and uh, let's get rid of just for now, so we can do this quicker. Let's get rid of the plt.show, and let me type in h. So now you look at h, let me scroll up here. The first column is just all of the x's. This is x squared. Here are all of the y's. This is y squared, and this is x times y. Okay, nothing fancy, I just created h. Now that I have h, all I need to do is compute h transpose inverse, h transpose z. Um, so that's what this is saying. This is what I want. I want H transpose H inverse H transpose Z. So first I need to do H transpose H. So that's um, H transpose is NP, NumPy is the NumPy toolbox. NP H, so that transposes H. And then matmul multiplies the two H's together. So if I run this and take a look at HH, remember that H is a 25 by five. So H transpose is a five by 25. So it's a five by 25 matrix times a 25 by five. So I'm actually only going to get a five by five matrix, okay? I then inverse that matrix using the linear algebra toolbox. So I do NP linear inverse HH, and that inverses my matrix there. And then I do H transpose times Z. So that's just NP transpose H times Z. And then my coefficients are just HH transpose inverse HZ. And so if I, hit go on that and I print C, here are my coefficients. So this is A, this is B, C, D, and E. Those are my five coefficients. So then if I want to use this regression equation, what I can do is I can say, okay, give me um, X and Y data points that starts at the minimum X coordinate and ends at the maximum X coordinate. And I, this needs to be the minimum Y, 
and this needs to be the maximum y. So this is gonna give me 20 data points along x and 20 data points along y. And then this line of code here is going to grid my data points, okay? So let me, let me show you what that means. If I type in x smooth, that's gonna give me 20 data points from zero to 10, right? So if you look at x, x is zero, 2.5, the minimum is zero and the maximum is 10. x smooth is gonna tell me, is gonna give me one unique data point from zero to 10, but it's gonna give me 20 data points. So it's gonna be a little bit finer of a grid, right? Mesh grid though is gonna give me a grid of data points. And so if I type in XX, huh, that doesn't look like a, That's interesting. What does this sparse mean? If I just do false, I type in XX. That's what I want. Okay, uh, that sparse probably means that it like shrinks it so you can't see it. Um, but basically this is X repeated 20 times. Okay, that's what you're seeing because there are 20 Y coordinates. Remember in the data set, um, X is repeated five times because there are five unique Y coordinates per X coordinate. In this case, I'm doing 20 per 20, so I've got 20 unique coordinates per data point. And so this is a 20 by 20 grid, so I have 400 data points here. Um, and so if I type in YY, that's gonna give me Y repeated 20 times, okay? From zero to 10. So then if I then create Z, so Z is a, which is the first coordinate of that. So remember the C matrix are my coefficient of unknowns. So if I do C times XX, C1 times X squared, C2 times Y, C3 times Y, and C4, if I run that and then look at ZZ, that's gonna be Z repeated 20 times. And it's repeated 20 times because I've got 400 data points. So I need a unique Z coordinate per that. Um, once I do that, I can plot a surface and I need to show it and you'll see Look at that, that my surface plot matched those data points extremely well, right? I, there was a little bit of noise in there, so it didn't, it didn't do it perfectly, but it matched it in such a way that I can, it, it definitely looks like a good regression fit. And again, all you need to do, right, when you're doing these plots, or sorry, doing these regression equations, is take your regression equation, put your unknowns into a vector, and then every column is just, whatever coefficient you want. And then in the, if you just copy this code, all you need to do is change this line of code here, which just changes your columns, and then change this line of code here, and then everything's the same. So you can do a polynomial fit or a 2D fit um, just like that, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this lecture and happy coding.